What's up guys, Nintendo Nick here, back with another episode of Splatoon single player campaign. In the last episode we completely destroyed World 2 and now we're here at World 3. It looks like there's another UFO sighting. If you saw last video, shit, these guys throw ink, ink strikes right there. And so right here, this is actually another DLC pack that they, um, shit, <laughs> sorry, uh, but this is another DLC pack which they haven't released yet, but, um, will sometime in, uh, summer. And this is what it looks like so far, and this is what it's gonna look like. Space, I don't know if the gushers will be in here, but... They're in here right now. But yeah, um, they also, I have to say, um, there was a Nintendo Micro Direct today. And they have announced that the, um, that there will be a DLC for Splatoon that's actually coming out today at 9, at 7 o'clock Pacific Time, 9 o'clock, uh, Eastern Time. And it's going to include the NES Zapper and, um, the NES Zapper and one new stage. So, stay tuned for that. I'm probably not going to upload it, but, um, yeah, you can do it on yourself if you have Splatoon. Yeah, the NES Zap is basically the same thing as the, um, as the, what's it called, the arrow spray, which we will actually unlock after defeating the third boss. So if you guys saw my last episode, I was wondering what those um, sunken scrolls you get while defeating a boss, I was wondering what they did, and I figured it out, because when I defeated the first boss, like, I just got this custom um, Spire Shot Jr. randomly, but it wasn't really randomly. After you defeat the first boss, you get a custom Spire Shot. And then once I beat the second boss, I realized that I got, um, a Kelp, um, Splat Charger. So yeah, and then the next one is an Arrow Spray, I heard. Because looking at the blueprints that, like, I looked up. Um, it looked like that it was an arrow spray. So let's go hunting for a new level. Alright, here's one. Level 12, flutter, junkyard, Greenwich robots. Alright, looks like we have a new enemy, it looks like. I haven't been using my sub buttons lately. Yeah. Also, I probably won't find any of the sunken scrolls because they're actually really hard to find. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so these guys, like, track you down, I think, and they're very devastating because, like, they can just rain on you. But, yeah. Looks like I got it all under control. Alright. Alright, that one was obvious. Well, for me. Found it. Alright. Uh, this is pretty... Alright, come on. Oh, nice, I made it. Alright, let's keep going. Riding those rails, railing riders. You know railing riders from uh, Mario Party DS. Yes. Great, great mini game. I love Mario Party DS. Yes. Probably one of my favorite Mario parties. But yeah, it was basically like Mario Party DS yes was basically focused on you being tiny, so you would ride like real railings. And like you have to swipe on the DS and just kill 
uh, and just kill the competition by sliding as fast as you can. Oh yeah, that's enough about uh, Mario Party DS. Great game though, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a real Mario Party game, because Mario Party 10 and Mario Party 9 were shit. Mario Party 8 was okay, but Mario Party 9 just ruined it. Alright, I have to find a key through this maze. Oh shit. Oh wow, that was too easy. Oh shit, that's gonna almost kill me. Alright, let's get out of here, I think. Yeah, finished it. And we got the second scroll. And there we go. Yeah. I don't know if I actually will make it to the end of World 3 in this episode, but hopefully I will because I really want the arrow spray. I heard it's a really good weapon. And the first battle is a great war and didn't victory for the Octarian. Alright, you can just read that because I'm not going to be wasting time, okay? You can pause the video. Alright. Alright, let's see what's over here. There's gotta be something over here. Painting these steps. Yep, found it. Oh man, Oclings. Oclings, or whatever you call them. They're back. Alright, so this is Black Belly uh, Skate Park right here. I like the stage a lot. Like, going up to that snipe tower. Especially as like a splatter scope. I love that place. Just sniping people away. Oh god, these guys are good. Oh god, shit. They know how to use their sub weapons. Did they have, did they have unlimited ink or something? Oh shit. Oh god. Oh nice, I got him. Alright, looks like we're going up. Yep, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which weapon's the best, actually. To tell you the truth, because I've been playing a lot of multiplayer off-screen. And, um... I have no idea what is the best weapon. I think it might be the arrow spray, but I'm not sure, because I haven't tried it out yet. And wait, actually, I want to. I think I know where the sub what. I not the sub what. The special. Yep, the sunken scrolls right there. I remember that. Yeah, I I watched um. I watched Game Explains um, finding all the scrolls, and I'm sorry I did that because now I know where all the scrolls are. But now I can show you guys too. And I want to get all the scrolls. Alright, you guys can read that. Uh. Let me see, where else? Alright, we have to save three more zapfish. Alright, well, apparently we can't. Wait, what's that going to? Alright. There's one right there, that's easy. Alright, 13 shifting platforms. This sounds hard. And it looks hard too. Oh, it's... I think I, I know this one. You have to like, go in squid form in order to... And it can be really devastating. If you don't do it fast enough, because... You'll probably get knocked off. Alright, we're doing good so far. Oh god. Alright. Yeah, just all you have to do is just turn to squid form. Doesn't matter if there's ink on the field or not. Just have to turn to squid form. And try to keep yourself safe. Alright, nothing's down there. Got it. Oh god. Those guys remind me of an 
enemy from SpongeBob SquarePants the movie, the video game, where like they they go like blah, 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 and like they throw up on you or some shit like that, and then when they when they hit you, they're all like laughing and stuff. It's so weird. I might actually show that game, SpongeBob SquarePants the movie. All right, here's the sun scroll. You guys are wondering. All right, so oh god, it's coming at me. Yeah, so there. I'm actually gonna tell you some of my plans for uh, the summer. I will be making a new um, segment called Throwback Thursdays after um, after. Nintendo Club stops being made, which is when school's over. So it's gonna be every Thursday, and I'm gonna be playing some of the games of my childhood. Shit. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be playing some of my games um, from my childhood, and um, one of them is SpongeBob SquarePants the movie, the video game. All right, I have to get that some school again. Yeah. I have to go through all this. Come on, bro. Alright, good. Alright, doing good so far. I think that noise is shifting a platform. It's like, dun, 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 dun. Shit. Alright, there we go. Alright, this time I got it. Alright, nice. Got it. Alright, this guy can be a pain in the ass. I hate the rapid fire weapons. But they're good for you, like something like the Splash Shot Jr. Or the Alright, the <laughs> and the uh arrow spray which we're gonna get after defeating third boss, like I said. Um but those weapons are actually really good. For covering ink and killing enemies. And it, well, it doesn't have that good of range, though. That's the only bad part, I think. Also, the fire, I, the damage is also bad, of course. All right, this one's a little bit tricky. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, this is a pretty hard level, actually. But we made it through. I don't know why there's a bunch of television showing Octarians, but who cares? We made it through. And got the sunken scroll. Again, you guys can read it. Pause the video. Pause the video if you want to read it. Here's the thing. Yeah, pause it, whatever. If you really want to read it or something. Uh. Alright, so on to a new level. I think there's one at the top here something maybe this is the boss up top yeah this is the boss sorry but we also have this thing which leads us back to the start of course sorry all right can I all right there has to be two more levels so I have no idea where they are. Alright, maybe there's something over here. Definitely. Alright, did I already explore this? Yeah, I already explored this part. Wait, alright, I didn't explore that. I have to make that jump. Alright, made it. And this is level. Yep, alright, found it. I didn't get to read it, but whatever. We'll get to read it when we beat the level. Alright, it's one of those Gusher Gauntlet songs again that I kind of like. It's like weird though, it's like a bunch of random sound effects. Alright, there's gotta be something here. Anything? Nothing? Yeah, but like, <laughs> this music is like, pun? Like, 
just such weird music, but it's also really catchy, and I like it. Oh, shoot. Got two sneak attackers. Thanks, Cat and Pluck, Cuttlefish. Nice swarm, bucko. What the heck? Going under. Get wrecked. Alright, I have no idea where this, uh, I don't remember where this, um, oh wait, now I remember, okay. I remember where the Sunga Scroll is. It's right here, so do that, that, and then boom, boom. Right there is Sunga Scroll. Alright, so jump, oh wait, I forgot to shoot it. Alright, nice. I really like that kind of, uh, puzzle solving right there. Like you have to figure out how to slingshot your way up. And, like, to jump on the railways. Like this. Ah, oh, nice. We got specials. Alright, let me get the other special. It's probably the same thing, yeah. Why isn't that guy- Okay, there we go. Alright, let's keep going. Zigzag my way through. I think this is the last checkpoint. Like, if you guys notice, um, the last checkpoint has, like, a different song kind of thing. I think it goes faster, kind of like in Mario Kart, the last lap. But I have no idea could be that it goes like, it has like very hype music or something. But anyway, that was Ink Rail Skyscape. Alright, so we have one more level and then the boss, so I think we can make it. If we can find that last level. Finding the last level is always really hard. You can read that. Pause the video if you want. Uh, where the fuck would that be? Alright, uh, I think I found it. It's over there. By that ink rail. Alright, so I have to climb up here, I think. Yep, found it. Invisible Adventure? Oh my god, I love this level. I saw this level um, on Game Explain. It's a great level. This is where there is invisible ink everywhere. Like invisible platforms, not invisible ink. But. Wow, we have octans in this? Alright, where the fuck are the octans? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, I can't really do this. Cause I don't know where the end of the platform is though, that's my biggest problem. Cause like, when you're riding up these things, always going to the edge and not like, covering the top. Alright, there we go, I got this one. Alright, nice. Let's kill him. I'm gonna go really fast through this level, cause... Don't got that much time left, but whatever. I'll be rushing through it, cause I think I know where the... I think I know where the, um... Where the sunken scroll is, which was concerning. Uh, you die. Alright, you die too. Alright, you too die. Thank you. Keep going. Oh wait, no, that was fuck. That was where the sunken scroll was. It was under there, and there's a fucking invisible wall blocking me. All right, what the fuck? Am I trapped or something? Can I go over it? Anything? 
Alright, am I fucking trapped or something? This is fucking ridiculous. Oh wait, there's an open- no? Oh, okay, there's the open. Found it. And there's a lot of puzzle solving in this game. I mean, it's easy puzzle solving, but still. Puzzle solving. Alright, this one you have to find your own path. Oh god, one of those sweeper things. Get the fuck out of here. I hate those things so much. Just can't even kill them either. Are you sure there's not anything here? Alright, nothing there. I almost died right there. Should have took the right way. Alright, uh either I have to go to that jump pad or that's a secret. Alright, there we go, got it. Uh anything? Alright. I don't think we actually missed it. I don't think we missed the, um, the sunken scroll. I think it's right over there. It's underneath all these guys. Oh god. I didn't see that guy. Wait, no, I missed it. Cause like, it's a staircase, but it's under the staircase. Oh wait. I really I'm confused. I don't know if we missed it or we didn't miss it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we missed it. Oh god, fuck you. Really? That killed me? I never want to die to that shit. Damn it, leave me alone. Uh, am I supposed to jump? Alright. God damn it. Leave me alone. Alright, there we go. Boss time now. Alright. Let me upgrade my gear if I can. You know, just because the boss and stuff. Alright, so this guy looks like a, like a box or something. Uh, I'll upgrade my hero shot. Yep, alright, so, alright, rate of fire, that's actually really good to upgrade your shot. That's why it's so expensive. But yeah, let's go to the beginning where we can just rail ourselves up instead of having to go and... Fire, so okay, so um, roll with the punches, the rampaging octo whirl. All right, this guy he kind of does look like an octopus without tentacles, though. He does, he has the eyes and the face, and yeah. Also, this stage looks like tick tock clock once you get to the third, um, third phase, but yeah, so. It's powered up. It's like one of those Beyblades. It's like a combination of a blade, Beyblade and a Bakugan. <laughs> but yeah, here he is. All you have to do is just squirt paint um, near you. Then he'll come rolling towards you. And you just sink him in ink. Oh, wow. Alright, he actually went through that for some reason. Thought that would definitely drown him. Alright, there we go. Drowned him. Oh, fuck. 
Really? All right, there we go. Got him. All right, when I run out of ink. All right, he's coming back up. Why couldn't we just do that in the first place? <laughs> All right, now it's starting to rotate. Tick tock clock. Yeah, it's a little bit harder rotating because like. All right, come at me, bro. And you dead. All right, third phase. TikTok clock. Here we come, Mario Kart 8. The newest TikTok clock in the franchise. All right, so yeah. Now there's like gears, and you can't splurt paint on them. It's not really TikTok clock, but like it's like shaped as a circle, like a clock. And um. Alright, got a fucking boost. Nice! Really? Fuck. <laughs> I can't run out of ink right there. Alright, that's fine. I finally got him. And boom. Green ink everywhere. Alright, so. Splat away. Get all these orbs, get the sunken scroll definitely because that will give us the arrow spray which I actually will show you guys. So yeah, finally beat world 3. Game save. Hey dang Angel 3 you're on fire. But I've got a bad feeling about well, yeah, I'll just go take a quick look for myself. By the way, I've been meaning to introduce you to Engines 1 and 2. Once you're well all assembled, I'll take some Krabby Cakes. Cut the fish! No, you. It can't be. Gah. Time to face the music, old timer. What? what wait Gah. Stop. No. Scratch one, Cuttlefish. Alright, so I think his name's Scratch, maybe? Because... What? Alright, I don't get it. But yeah, definitely looks like the arrow spray right there. So, you see the check marks, that means I bought them. And let me go to Inkopolis and show you. Right after this cutscene. So, yeah. The power's out. And we unlocked World 4, I think. Yeah, World 4. Alright, let's just go. Actually, nah, I'm not gonna go. Show it off the next part. So, let's go back to Inkopolis. Alright, so now I'm gonna go to weapons. And let's see what Sheldon has to say. Hello, hello, what kind of weapons are you in the market for? Hmm, wait, are those some of my grandpappy's lost long lost blueprints you have in your position see so now he has the blueprints yeah whatever he builds it up and now I have the arrow spray MG more like MLG cause it's so fucking RP um, so fucking OP but yeah it has the seekers which is a very good sub weapon ink zuka I'm not really a big fan of but really good um I'll show you it's really good. Firing range is amazing. Look at that. Rapid fire right there. It ha doesn't have that good of range, but let me tell you, it covers a lot of space and lo in short amounts of time. Look at that. I already have my special. Ink Zuka. Boom. 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 Yeah, so the sub weapon is the seeker and you can choose like which target you want to choose. So it will literally like lock on. Like I'll choose that one. Boom. Dead. Really good sub weapon. But yeah. I'm gonna go buy that. Oh what? There's an arrow spray RG too, wow. Okay. So instead it has an ink mine and 
an ink strike, which is also really good. I don't know which one to pick, actually. Both are really good, but I don't have enough money for the RG, but the, I have enough money for the MG. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. The next part, we will be doing World 4. So stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for more Splatoon right here on the Town Nick. Bye.